day eight on this gorgeous campsite in Rivar. I'm just watching the little baby swifts get fed. <laughs> yeah, this isn't good. One of my tent poles has started to split. Well, it's split. I'm gonna, um, I've got some electric tape, so I'm gonna try and patch it up, but I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that, it's really bad. So that's where the closed tunnel leads out, back onto the Voivir, the greenway. Looks like I'm gonna have to go along the road a bit to join it. Hoping it's not gonna be one of those days. I had a really, really late start today, it was only about half one or something by the time I set out. Um, then, I went, to take a, I went to take a photograph of the local communist party of us, as you do. And there was a guy in a car parked in front of it and got out and <laughs> started like threatening me. Why are you taking my photograph? Just told to piss off. Um, but then, like twice since I've been cycling along, my, my um, saddle just completely went from underneath me. And I've tried, I've been like adjusting it. I've tried to um, tighten it as much as I can, but I've only really got this, so I can't get much leverage on it. <sighs> Which is a bit annoying. Oh yeah, I and mean, um, my dynamo just wasn't working either. But that I've fixed that just by unplugging it and plugging it back in again. So, it was a full moon last night. But honestly, I mean, are the worst places you can break down. Look at that, it's gorgeous. You can't even see, you can't... I don't think some of these um, films I've made have... Um, really shown just how high how deep this valley is it's just gorgeous and look at the weather I'm gonna stop complaining now haven't i <laughs> thought this was a mirage things are looking up okay a bit of local history for you now i've stopped in a little town called bonny samus b-o-g-n-y and here they have a monument to four sons of Aenon. It's up there. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. I think you can see it first. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay, no, I can't zoom in. I'll put a photograph of it up. And um, the monument is a statue of the horse Bayard, which you may remember from in Dinon. Um, there was that big rock stuck in the middle of the road and legend has it um, that the magic horse Bayard um, ran through it and, and cut a big hole in the rock. It's a magic horse which apparently changed size according to how many riders it had and all four sons of Amon used to ride the horse at the same time. So obviously a great, you know, something to really really be proud of which is why today in this little cafe the special is horse steak and chips. It's me. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so you can see that even though I've tried to repair those poles, <laughs> my tent is a bit wobbly, it's a bit pointy here. And it should just be nice and round. So, um, luckily, decathlon stock replacement poles, and luckily, there's a decathlon in town, so guess what I'm doing tomorrow. Now this is a Sunday night in Charleville. It's probably the busiest place I've been to. It's really nice as well. Well, this square is nice, but to be honest, I'm not sure yet what to make of the town. The campsite's a bit shite. <laughs> I'm in the decathlon. I'm a little sit on a camping seat in their um, camping departments. They've got poles, but they come in like a pack of 11. 
13 euros, they're dead heavy, they're too long. I mean, we could cut them down to size. I only want one. Got to do. So here I am again in another decathlon uh, picnic area. <laughs> um, problem solved, I am so, so made up. Um, I explained that they were the wrong size, I only needed one. Um, anyway, they took me off straight to the um, atelier workshop and um, this guy just took my poles, built me a whole new set of poles, replaced everything, um, you know, chopped them all down to size. He even took a blowtorch out at one point to kind of melt off the little ferrule at the end. Brand new poles, it cost me another 10 euros, but pff, I'm not, I'm, the, the, the nightmare, it's, um, <laughs> it saved me. Headache, it's fantastic. Um, I can't believe the skill of the staff in there, he just like, he knew what he was doing, he, he just got on with it. So I got myself a little vending machine coffee and a uh, waffle. And great start today, it's only 11 o'clock, sun's out, and I'm going to push on to Sedan today and then probably over into Belgium. The obligatory padlocks. It's about midday. This might be my last day on this river. So I'm thinking about going for a swim. Is that a stork? There's actually two of them, I can't see the one. I have never seen one in real life before. I know they have the same legend here of um, storks, liver and babies. Something to do with, you can count how many babies a household has by how many chimneys it has and because the storks like to nest in chimneys this is pure David Attenborough content right now I hope you're enjoying this so I'm about to go back to Belgium again um, I've got another 13 miles on the clock to go on my um, GPS but I don't think I'm gonna make that it is half six at night and it is still absolutely, excuse me, absolutely sweltering, as you may be able to tell. Um, I've left the River Moose now, obviously, and I can't say, just wait for this car to get past. I cannot say enough good things about it and how spoiled it was for about four full days, at least, I think. I just followed my nose, I didn't have to, follow, didn't have to use my GPS. Um, we just followed the canal, not the, 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 the river. It was really, really well signposted. So when you came to a junction of you had to cross the river, it told you. Everywhere was gorgeous. It was flat. When you get back into town, you forget like what, um, what, see, I've forgotten the word already, what roundabouts and traffic lights are for. Um, it is absolutely daily. Everyone should go there. Everyone should do it. Um, I'll probably pest you all when I get back home to come back and do it again but anyway I'm going to push on and find somewhere to camp and have a shower look at the state of me <laughs> okay bye bye from Belgium I'm in the little village of Lambermont in Belgium how about this for the cutest bus stop you've ever seen in your life it's got it's got a library Well, I did do another 24 miles in the end, <laughs> and now I'm in the town Florentville in Belgium. Got the campsite more or less to myself. The reception was closed, so once again I snuck on. The only thing is, you have to pay for a shower. <laughs> I really want a shower. We'll see. I could, have a, I could have a cold shower quite easily. I just want to show you as well. My GPS tried to take me to some stupid route, so I had to go old school and just write the names of the villages <laughs> on my route on my arm. And do you know what? That worked really well. So yeah, um, maybe I've got it in my legs, Luxembourg tomorrow. I don't know how many miles it is from here. Um, I'll put up the maps as well from Strava it's in two stages today. Because um, I had to stop it because, like I say, my GPS wasn't playing. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Two days in one. Maybe I'll put the third day in as well. Bye now.